Now we'll take a look at the different aspects of this window we have here, which is known collectively as the level editor, and we'll explain what each part of this interface is responsible for doing. Okay, we'll start up here at the top then. This here is known as the menu bar, and it's got options like file, edit, window, tools, build, and every editor within Unreal Engine has one of these menu bars. Some options like file edit and help will be in every single one of these editors but some are editor specific in this case things like build and actor are specific to the level editor then we've got this tab here this just tells us kind of what what we have in a specific tab and we can dock different tabs along here which we'll do later this tells us that we're in third person map which is a level and then next down below that we've got this section here which is known as the main toolbar this contains shortcuts to some of the most common tools and commands in Unreal Engine and it's divided into, we've got the save button here. We've then got this little drop down here which is mode selection and that allows us to change between editing, selection, foliage, mesh paint and we'll touch on some of these as we go forward. Next we've got these three here are kind of your content shortcuts. So you've got create here, this lets you add things to your level or to your world. Then you've got this one here which allows you to get into blueprints and edit those. And the next one is to do with cinematics and sequences and all that kind of stuff. So creating things like cutscenes. Then we've got the play mode controls. This contains shortcuts such as play, skip, stop, eject. So it's basically for running and testing your game within the editor. Then we've got the platforms menu. And that is just a series of options you can use to configure, prepare, deploy your project for different platforms such as desktop, mobile or consoles. And then way over here to the right, we've also got settings. And this just contains various settings for the Unreal Editor, Level Editor, Viewport and Game Behaviour. And we'll touch on some of these later as well. Moving on then, this big ass window here is known as the Level Viewport. And this just is responsible for displaying the content of the level that's currently open. So when you open a project in Unreal Engine, the project's default level opens in this viewport by default. And it's where you can view and edit the contents of your level, whether it's an environment, a product visualization app, or anything else really. And the level viewport can generally display the content of the level in two different ways. There's perspective, which is what we're looking at now, which is kind of a 3D view. Uh, and we've also got orthographic. So if we change here from perspective to top, this would be an orthographic view. And we can see kind of a wireframe view of the level. And that's a 2D view that just looks down one of the main axes, such as X, Y, or Z. But let's just pop that back into perspective. The next important part of the interface we can't even see right now and that's because it's called the content draw and if you just press control and spacebar on your keyboard like that your content draw will pop up and you can see that it's labeled down here content draw. You can also just click on it from down here at any time uh, and this is essentially a file explorer window that displays all of your assets, blueprints and other files that are contained within your project and you can use it to browse through your content, to organize it and even to move them between different games and projects. And here you can see we've got like a file browser window here and we can also see some of the folders here within the content folder. So you've got two different ways of laying that out. And now I'll just press control and space again to get rid of that. And along the bottom, this entire strip is known as the bottom toolbar. And this contains shortcuts to the command console, which is here, which is incredibly useful. You've also got the output log, which is here. This is, will tell you, you know, whether or not you've got problems within your game. You've got derived data, which we're not going to touch on. Source control status for if you're working, you know, on a shared project between a big team. Again, we're not going to touch on that for this exercise, but lots of useful stuff down here. In the top right of the screen, this is called the Outliner. It used to be known as the World Outliner, and it basically just displays a hierarchical view of all the content in your level. By default, it's docked up here in the upper right corner of the window. You can move it if you want to, and you can use this to quickly hide or reveal actors by clicking on the associated icon here. So you can see that's making that appear and disappear. You can access an actor's context menu by right clicking on it. So, you know, there are certain things that we can do with an asset and that will come up if we right click. You can create, move and delete content folders to help to organize it. Here you can see we've got a folder here that contains block one. And also down below that we have the details panel. So if we click on something, it will bring up the details for whatever we have selected. And that allows us to change some of the properties like location, rotation, scale, what material it has on. There's lots of stuff going on in here, which we'll cover as we go through the tutorial. And that brings an end to our quick whistle stop tour of the Unreal Engine default interface, the level editor. 
In the next step, we're going to take a look at how you move around in 3D space, so how you navigate using the mouse and keyboard to get around in Unreal Engine. So I'll see you in the next step for that. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and enjoyable. If you'd like to help me create more content like this, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. The contributions I get through Patreon make a huge difference in keeping this channel going. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to make sure you don't miss my upcoming tutorials. Your support and engagement mean the world to me and help my channel continue to grow. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.